So I saw a video of you guys that I thought was so cool. Um, you played with Chuck Berry. Can you can you tell us about the first time you played with Chuck Berry? Um, the first time we played with Chuck Berry. Oh, actually, the first time we played with Chuck Berry was like in '73. One of the first gigs we ever did was opening uh, at uh, it was Maryland, uh, Cold Field House. Uh, I guess it was University of Maryland. And we were opening the bill, and it was Jerry Lee Lewis and Chuck Berry. And Bruce Springsteen was the opening act. I don't know how we got that gig, but I'm the one that uh, I knew that Chuck didn't have a backup band, and they would just have to hire some local kids to, to back him up, and that was always a disaster. So I went to the promoter and said, well, you know, we're already there. We got instruments there. Why don't you um, hire us to be the... Chuck Berry's backup band, and he thought that was a, a good idea. Uh, we didn't get paid any extra money, but um, we did get to back up Chuck Berry, and it was a fantastic night. Um, I'll never forget it. Uh, Chuck was Chuck was Chuck. He was sure that we were going to suck, and he was ready for it. <laughs> but uh, we we, we kind of got him going. He he dug it. We got him. It was a good show. Uh, How was it? How did you know that he dug it? Well, he smiled. He, he um, well, Southside was with us. He, he had made the trip with us. And he was playing harmonica. You know, he's like kind of in the back of the, back of the stage, you know, figuring, you know, nobody would notice him. And so if Chuck's playing, and all of a sudden, you, Chuck go, and he goes back like this, and you see Southside back there. And Southside, of course, goes, oh, shit, I'm in trouble now. And he goes, like, and Chuck, comes back toward it and he grabs the mic stand and then he takes it, he moves it to the front of the stage and he makes John get up in front of the stage and play. And yeah, Chuck had a great time. It was, uh, you, you know, you, I've, I've seen Chuck uh, perform you know, with backup bands who didn't know what a Chuck Berry song was and, and it's very, very uh, dismal. But yeah, yeah, he had a good time. He, Chuck had a good time that night and Chuck was, I know everybody says what a bastard he was. And, uh, we got to be pretty good friends. He was, he was always great with me, and, and uh, I respect the man and, and love him forever. But he had, he had reasons to be bitter. But um, whenever he played with these new band, he had a good time. 